Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Hello, good morning. This is a beautiful Monday morning. I am Shalosh Shumakide. This is Messy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. Wherever you are watching me from this morning, lift up your hands and just give God praise. God is good and His mercy endures forever. What a beautiful morning to be alive. Father, we thank you. We love you. We worship you. We thank you for your goodness, for your faithfulness. Thank you for another opportunity to fellowship together as one family under you. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Praise Him, thank you. Are you on the road at work already? Or you are in your house? What a beautiful morning. I want to share something very beautiful with us this morning, and that is what I have called the favor of the Lord. Favor. I will read a passage of the Bible. Psalm 102 verse 13, the Bible says, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion, for a set time, time to favor her, a set time is here. Time to favor her. What is favor? You know, already we read in God's word. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 9, if we start from 14 down to 16, the Bible says, It is not of him that willeth. It is not of him that runneth. But it's of God that shows mercy. So there's a limit to what a man can achieve by himself. But there is something about the favor that comes from the Lord. It makes all the difference. Hallelujah. You know, um, in Genesis chapter 39, if you start from verse 21, this is said about Joseph in the prison. 
I, I want us to read that particular place, Genesis 39, verse 21. You know, the Bible says, But the Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Now, for those who are with me this morning, it does not matter the level you are in life. In Genesis 37, Joseph's father favored him. He chose him as a special son and he made for him a coat of many colors. Now the brothers came in to play their politics of hatred and got him out of the house. They sold him into slavery. But this guy, he got to Potiphar's house. He was still favored there. Potiphar loved him more than all other servants. The favor was so real that even Miss Potiphar wanted him. But see, that led to him going to prison. Even in the cell, the Bible says God showed Joseph mercy and he was favored. Now you can't be, you can be the MD, the CEO, or you can just be the janitor or the driver. It does not matter what you do or the name they call what you do. What matters is the manifestation of the favor of God over your life. Hallelujah. In the house of Joseph, the favor was at work. In the house of Potiphar, the favor on him was still at work. Finally, in the cell, the favor on him was still at work. Hallelujah. God's favor is beautiful when it's on you. Even though it is likely that when you are highly favored, you'll be hated by many. Because things will happen effortlessly. You'll be promoted beyond your ability. Life will seem to bend certain rules for you. This is why it is important that every believer prays from time to time for the oil of favor to be on you, for the favor of the Lord to show forth in your life. It will deliver you from many struggles because there will be something on you that will be noticeable, something real, something strong. Hallelujah. Many people, I believe, one of the reasons why I've shared this with you this morning is that you are going to experience what Joseph experienced. You'll be lifted. You'll be promoted. Wherever you walk, you are singled out because of the oil of favor that is on you. You can say it in a word of prayer this morning. Say, Father, I thank you that your favor is on me. Your favor is on everything I do. And wherever I go, whatever I do, your favor is on me. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, may you be highly favored this week. May you be highly favored this month. May you experience the favor of God like never before today. It is not of him that run it. It's not of him that willeth. Every promise that God has given you, somehow you will need the oil of favor to experience them. Hallelujah. You will not always do everything correctly at all times, but there is the favor of the Lord that encompasses you, that engulfs you, that envelops you, and then it gives your life a meaning. And that is my prayer for you all through this week, that you'll be able to sing songs of praise to our Father for the favor that He has bestowed upon you, and that the favor of God will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ. When men play politics against you, it can't stop God's favor. Momentarily, they might appear to have harmed you, to have injured you. But you see, everything will ultimately work together for the good of a man that is highly, or a woman that is highly favored of the Lord. So I pray in the name of Jesus that the favor of God is upon you all through this week. Till I come your way again next week, Monday. This is Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Mike. Remember, God is good and His mercy endures forever. God bless you.